Hello everybody, I'm Misa Narrates. This is my digital space. I hope you enjoy. Now I've been offline for about a week. I haven't uploaded and if you follow me on Instagram, you know why. So let's just leave it at that. I am gonna switch some things up. I think for the sake of sensibility, we're gonna make Mondays the Gimba Diaries uploads, Wednesdays the Get Glam With Me playlist upload, and then Fridays for the review. So today, we're gonna do the Gimba Diaries upload. As you saw in the title, I, <laughs> I have been like pescatarian for the past month and I really do enjoy it. I've had a whole lot of fun learning new recipes, trying out new things, but I think if this series is anything to go by, like you guys know that pasta is my happy place. So in this episode, I'm gonna be making mac and cheese. <laughs> um, and I realized that like I'm finally good at mac and cheese once I stopped needing to like follow a very strict recipe and very strict measurements. Like I know what I'm doing now. Um, what else did I want to share about this journey? I think if there's anything, like, I would, again, I'm not going to purport to be vegan. I'm never going to be plant-based because I like yogurt, okay? I like cheese. I like eggs. I like milk. And I like cooking with those ingredients more so than anything else. So, it's just never going to be me. It's just never going to be me. Um, if anything, I think it's just really important to to, to, to find your proteins because it's so easy to just eat carbs and then you'll feel like shit later or you'll get the itis or whatever but um just like try to find your protein i think that's my only advice on this path that i've been on try to find your protein wherever you can get it get it um in the next few weeks i'm gonna try and be a little bit more strict about what i'm eating because i've finally figured out what to eat actually let me correct myself I finally figured out what I want to eat. Now I need to, you know, practice some self-discipline. And I'm sure you guys can hear my babies in the back. Um, practice some self-discipline and manage portion sizes. Because there's no need, I don't know, like, because it's winter and it's comfort food and things have just been happening, you know? And I've, I've wanted to, like, eat my heart out, basically. <laughs> um, but yeah, I figured out what to eat. Now I need to crack down on how much of it I'm eating. So uh, yeah, we'll get into that. But for now, I want you guys to see how to make like the easiest, the easiest mac and cheese, the easiest one. Like growing up, I thought mac and cheese was really hard, but it's not, it's not. It's not. Anyway, I'm Issa Narrates. This is my digital space. I hope you enjoy. So you're gonna need some oil, you're gonna need some salt, normal salt. Then you're gonna need some garlic salt. Well, I prefer garlic powder, but whatever you can get your hands on. You're gonna need some milk. I like full cream milk for this, full cream. Okay, you want it fresh too. Then you're gonna want some Italian herbs, or herbs, however you say it. Veggie spice, which is like a staple. Some cayenne pepper, flour, okay. Ignore the mustard in the back, and then you're gonna wanna cube some cheese. So you're first gonna start with some boiling water and some macaroni in a pot, all right? And then you're gonna add a little bit of salt. Then you're gonna follow up that salt with some oil, just so that the macaroni bits don't, um, don't get stuck together, basically. And then, for me personally, I like the like really small elbow looking macaroni. I think that's really nice. Now on another plate, you're going to put about medium to high heat, add a little bit of oil. You guys will notice there are no measurements here. We are eyeballing again. Uh, you wanna heat that up, let that get hot. Add in your spices and seasoning. So I like to start with salt. Then you're gonna add in some cayenne pepper. I know that sounds a little weird, but like, I really do like hot foods, and that's the one way I can get my macaroni and cheese a little bit hot. Then you're gonna add in that vegetable spice. Then you're gonna toss in those Italian herbs, just a little bit. Now you're gonna add in some garlic salt or garlic powder, whatever you have. Now you're gonna need to thicken this, right? And you're gonna do so with some flour. 
eyeball it again based on how much oil you put in in comparison to how much seasoning, etc., etc. That's what I'm starting with. Then you're going to just take a fork. I recommend a fork, not a whisk. Take a fork and kind of mix it all together. Now, as I'm mixing, I'm sure you're seeing that there's a bit of a more liquid consistency. You don't really want that. Okay, you want it to be a little bit thicker. So for that reason, you're just going to add a little bit more so, uh, flour. Um, okay, I shouldn't say a little bit. That's a lot of flour. You're going to add some more. And ideally, you want it to, to be thick. You know, T-H-I-Q-U-E, thick. And you obviously still have this heat on relatively high. And the reason for that is that you want this all to kind of come together. And once you've gotten your consistency to that, you're going to add in some milk. I know you saw that the contents are sizzling a little bit. Add in a little bit of milk and stir. And then make sure that it's stirred very, very evenly. So you stirred and now you need to bring the cheese a little bit closer because it's almost that time, right? You're going to just add your cubes of cheese in very slowly and I know you guys saw that my pot is on nine. We are going to bring that down but we do need to get this cheese melted. I was lazy, I didn't feel like grating the cheese and I didn't feel like spending the money to buy grated cheese. Now you see how my pan is kind of doing me dirty so you do definitely have to bring that down otherwise you're gonna burn this mixture and you don't want that um, and you're gonna I don't show this in the video but you're gonna add a little bit more milk actually I do show this you're gonna add a little bit more milk right I think I added a tiny bit more even after but keep stirring basically and let that sit now I didn't show you this but I wanted some shrimp so I just got some butter, some garlic, some salt, and I put them things in another pot and, you know, we're moving and we're operating. You can do that in between. This is what your cheese will end up looking like. Isn't that nice? Look at that slow-mo. Look at it. Mm. Okay, so then you're going to uh, rinse your macaroni, strain it, you know, do all that good stuff. And eventually, you're going to just add it into the the mac the melted cheese you should probably do this in a bigger bowl but I don't know what came over me this day I didn't feel like doing all of that and you just want to scoop from the bottom bring it to the top make sure everything is coated I did not use enough macaroni because we were all out but you should use a lot of macaroni for this because you have a lot of cheese basically you keep moving that around you want everything nice and coated if you want you can put this in a tray, in an oven, with some extra cheese on top to melt it. If you want to oven bake, that's up to you. But basically, you can eat it as is. I wanted an extra kick, so I added some hot sauce per usual. I mixed in my little shrimp, and you know, that was lunch. It was a really good lunch that day. Did you guys like my mac and cheese? Did you like my mac and cheese? Anyway, I hope you did. And um, if you do try this recipe, let me know how it goes. You know, tag me on the Insta Greases. And until the next upload, I will see you when I see you, okay? I really think there's enough information, there's enough content for you to like binge and then subscribe. You should do that, okay? I'm Misa Narius, this is my digital space. I hope you've enjoyed. Bye.